monkeys. Why'd you call the column make when you're high? Perfect. Nailed it. Step one, learn the main riff. Step two, wait, no, sorry. Step one, talk about the tuning. Step two, learn the main riff. Step three, learn the chorus lead riff. Step four, uh, learn the bridge. Step five, learn the solo. Step six, learn the outro. Piece of cake, easy. We're gonna knock this out in six and a half minutes tops. Guys, standard tuning, I'll, although I will say, when they play it live, they play it in a different key, but they, st we're gonna, you know what? Let's not worry about that. We're just talking about the studio recording standard tuning. Would you please play for me second fret on the top string? We are learning currently, this is the introduction, which is also the main riff. Second fret on the top string. Then you're gonna play four on the second string from the top. Then you're gonna play five on the second string from the top, but play it twice. So the rhythm goes like this. We go two, four, five, Five. Then we're going to play it again just for practice. That was some. That was a really good practice session we just had. At this point in time, I would like to tell you that we're gonna palm mute this whole main riff. So that means you just take this the soft side of your hand, otherwise known as your palm. That's not your palm though. This is your palm. Why do they call it palm muting? Oh, who are the ad, ad wizards that came up with this one? I almost said the A word, that would have been very embarrassing. You take that part of your hand and you just place it right here, guys. Just right at the edge of the strings. You barely even, you don't push, you just barely set it there. And then when you play the notes, hear that palm muted sound? That classic Arctic Monkeys sound of the palm muted strings. So we've got two, four, five, five. Then on the second string from the top, play two. And then you're gonna play on that very same second string from the top, four, two. So that was two, four, two. And then guys, you just play the top string open, but continue to palm mute it. Two, four, five, five, two, four, two, zero. Then it starts over. Let's play it once together at this point in time, together as a family and as a group of guitar players who are studying together. Dumb. One. Two Arctic monkeys. Two, four, five, five, two, four, two, zero. Let's do it now twice in a row. So what happens is as soon as we play that last note, we just immediately start it over again. No hesitation, no surrender. What's the, the always sunny thing? Uh, no forgiveness, no patience, no surrender. What is, uh, uh, the thing with the movie Blade Runner, but it's not Blade Runner, it's a made up movie from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Help me out here, guys. One, two times in a row. See that? So they do that some amount of times for the intro. Let me just check my sheet here. Uh, guys, you're gonna play that two times for the introduction. I feel like my camera's wigglier than normal. Do you guys get that? So you play it twice for the intro. Then the singing starts. And what do you do? You just play that same main riff four more times. Now, I would like to explain what a main riff is to you at this point. Um, a riff is just like a short, rhythmic, repeated guitar part. And then the main riff just means the riff the, that happens the most in the song. It's not that hard. I don't feel like I needed a whole segment of the video to describe it. You probably could have figured it out. Then the chorus starts. Now, during the chorus, I will say that the bass and at least one of the guitars keeps just going bow, 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 keeps doing the main riff. But the lead guitar comes in and goes like this. So what I like to do when I'm playing this song all by my lonesome self is for the verse, I play the riff. But when I get to the chorus, I just go ahead and switch to this. And then when I get back to the verse, jump right back to that. Because I don't have multiple me's to, oh, this is stupid, duh. They're, of course they're not multiple names. I'm not, just shut, I'm gonna edit this out. This is the first video I've recorded today. So I'm not quite in the, I'm not quite in the groove yet. Can you guys tell? Um, let me show you this lead part for the chorus, for the chorus, if you will. Put your ring finger, ninth fret, second string from the top. Just play that note. Then with your pointer finger, play seven on the third string from the top. Then with your pointer finger again, slide up to the ninth fret. Don't actually slide, just kind of go up to the ninth fret. Then with your ring finger, play 11 on the third string from the top. So we just went, see that? Nine, seven, 
9, 11. Then I use my pinky to play 12 on the third string from the top. You could also just scoot your ring finger over. I just like to use my pinky, so I go. See that? 9, 7, 9, 11, 12. Let's play just those first, however many notes that is. 5, 1, 2, nice and slow. Notice, I am still palm muting over here, guys, with my hand side palm part. Boom, bum, 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 bum. Then, with your pointer finger, play nine on the third string from the bottom. Then you're gonna go right back to 12 on the third string from the top. So now we've got bum, 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 bum. One, two, play with me. Nine, seven, nine, 11, 12, nine, 12. Too fast? Oh, well, okay, well, let's do it a little slower. One, two, here we go. And. Is that slower? Then you go to 11 on the third string from the top. Then you go to 9 on the third string from the top. And then to 7 on the third string from the top. So we just kind of went backwards, guys. We just worked our way up to here and then worked our way back down. So that was. Bum, 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 bum. This gives me real Slim Shady vibes. It's like. I'm Slim Shady. Yes, I'm the real Shady. Are you all of Slim that's how that's how that song goes all right i'm being too silly this is a cool song the arctic monkeys are cool guys i want them to be my friend i think if they see me being so silly they're gonna be like I'm not gonna be friends with this guy but if they see me being cool actually actually i have an idea i got my hair wet and put my sunglasses on i think it helps considerably guys well, let's play that first part that real slim shady part one two here we go Okay, so far we're doing a great job. You just made it back down to that seven. Reach up to nine with your ring finger again. Then you go all the way back up to 11 again on the third string from the top. Then you go back down to nine, then back down to seven. So here's what we just did. People, friends and relatives. We just went nine, seven, nine, 11, 12, nine, 12, 11, nine, seven, nine, 11, nine, seven. Oh boy, we only have two more notes. So let's just do that and then we'll practice this a few times. Cause I know there's a lot of notes. So we're on seven on the third string from the bottom with your ring finger play nine on the second string from the top and then play seven on the second string from the top. All right. I feel like I said a wrong note in there somewhere. I just double checked my work. All notes are correct. We are ready to proceed with practicing the chorus lead guitar part. Guys, it is 16 notes long. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I told you. I, I don't know why you made me prove it to you. I, I know what I'm talking about here. Let's do slowly. We're gonna play through that riff. Dos time, Spanish for two. Surprised you didn't know that. One, two. Here we go. And boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna go ahead and say that wasn't especially slow. Let's do it a little slower. Boom, gong, boom, da, one, two, here we go. Started over nine. Oh. That happens four times in the chorus to the song. And then, so here's what happens next. What a step are we on? We're on step like three, I think. Four. Just step four. We're on step four. But I'm actually going to add in a step three and a half, which is talk about the song form. We've learned the two primary riffs for the song. The main riff, and we've learned that chorus lead riff. So what we want to do is we want to play the main riff twice for the intro. Then we play the main riff four times for the verse. Then we play that lead riff four times for the chorus. What happens then is we just go right back to the verse and play the main riff four more times. Then we go right back into the chorus of the song and we play the lead riff another four times. At this point in time, we get to the bridge of the song. Well, guys, I just recorded the the tutorial for the bridge to the song. And, it, I mean, and it's... It's such a mess. So I just decided to put it at the very end so you don't have to sit through it. Only the dedicated people have to deal with the 
the rambling mess that was the bridge tutorial. I mean, all the information is there. It's accurate. It's good. It's just, you know, I wasn't at the top of my heap, as they say. No one's ever said that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to learn the solo, guys. The solo goes like this. It goes... Oh, that's bad. And then it does that twice. So it's easy. You're going to love it. Start on seven of the second string from the bottom. Play that with your pointer finger. And then slide it up to 14 on the second string from the bottom. A little sliding tip, guys. Don't watch your finger as it slides. Just stare at the 14th fret and let your finger come right up to it. Okay? Then with your ring finger, reach up to 17 on the same string. Then play 15 on the same string. And then back to 14. So that was 7, 14, 17, 15, 14. Then jump up to 14 on the third string from the top, bottom, third string from the bottom, and play 14, 16, 14, 16. Okay, so now we've got... You see what I did? I did a little fancy thing there. I played the 17, I played the 15. When I went back to 14, I didn't just use the tip of my finger. I actually laid my finger flat so that way my finger was ready for that 14 on the third string from the bottom. Okay, so we just went... Then you're going to play 14 on the second to bottom string and hold it out for four beats. So we've got... Oh, uh, 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 one, two, three, four. Then you start that same thing over again. The only difference is at the very end, instead of playing this 14 on the second string from the bottom, you're going to play... 16 on the third string from the top. So the second time through it goes. Oh, the other thing is we don't slide up from seven after the first time. That slide up from seven is only the first time. And then you do the whole thing twice. Yeah, I'm going to say my explaining how things go game today is off kilter. Play the whole solo. One, two, three. Oh. Two, three, Four. There's that 16. Then we start it over. To Kalamazoo. We did it. We made it through the solo. Only thing that's left is the ending. The ending, otherwise known as the outro. Uh, I'm going to give you... The, okay, you could play just the chords. The chords just go like this. They go D, two, three. Four, then F sharp minor. We already went over those chords earlier, so you could just go Why'd you only bling blong bling blong? Why can you bound chicky wow wow ticky time ticky time? Give me all the love that you got, cause you know that I love you and I love you a whole lot. I'm never gonna miss you and I'm never gonna cry and I'm never gonna know that I'm never gonna die. That's good. I'm glad I was recording that. But, or you could do the cool way of doing it, which is like this Three, four. So here's what's happening. I'm playing on the second string from the bottom. I'm playing five, five, five. Second string from the top. I'm playing five, 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 four, five, seven, five, four. So that was five, 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 four, and then five, seven, five, four. Practice that with me. Three, four. Five, 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 four, five, seven, five, four. And then you're gonna play on the top. Two, 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 and then you're gonna play zero, two, five. Then on the second string from the top, play two, four. So that was two, 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 zero, two, five, and then two, four. Two, 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 zero, two, five, two, four, and then it starts over again. Guys, one, two, play with me. Again. We're gonna do this four times. Let's go ahead and do it four times right now. We're halfway done already. Sorry, oh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Well, 
So that's that. After you play that four times, it feels like you should end it on that F sharp, that second fret of the top string, but you don't. What you do is you're, you're going five, 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 four, five, seven, five, four, and we just stop right there. It goes, uh, and that's how you do it now. Here's the messy bridge explanation. Have a good one, all oh, bye. I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do the bridge. One way is you can just strum the basic chords, which goes a little something like this. It goes. Oh, wrong chord. There we go. Leave it. We'll, we should leave that in the video, right? It'll be fun. Um, so let me show you what those chords are. First, we've got a B minor. Yeah, it's a bar chord. Guys, pointer finger, second fret, second string from the top, smash down on the bottom four strings, put your middle finger on the third fret of the second string from the bottom, ring finger, fourth fret, third string from the top, pinky fourth fret, third string from the bottom. Now you're gonna strum that B minor chord once. You hold it out for two beats, one, two. Then we go to a D chord, which is not a bar chord. Middle finger, second fret on the bottom. Ring finger, third fret, second from the bottom. Pointer finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. Mute the top string with your thumb, or if you really don't want to do that, just make sure not to play the top string. In fact, aim for the bottom four strings. There's a D chord. We hold that out for two beats, one, two. Then we go to an F sharp minor, another bar chord. F sharp minor goes like this. Smash down on every single string on the second fret. Ring finger on the fourth fret of the second string from the top. Pinky on the fourth fret of the third string from the top. This one you're gonna hold out for four beats. One, two, three, four. Let's practice those three chords. One, two, here we go. And B minor, switch, and D, and then F sharp minor. Okay, one more time. And B minor, ho, D, high, F sharp. Oh, minor chord on the guitar. Now, I have a couple things to say. Okay, let me just finish up this. Okay, so you do that three times in a row. Then you start it a fourth time. You go B minor, D, but then we're gonna play a C sharp, guys. So that's pointer finger, fourth fret, second string from the top. Then ring finger mashes down on the sixth fret of the third string from the top, third string from the bottom, and second string from the bottom. C sharp minor. We would love it if the top string was muted by your pointer finger. We would love it if the bottom string was muted by your pointer finger and or your ring finger. You're gonna play that chord, you hold it out for four beats. One, two, three, four. Then you do a short one and we rest for three beats. So it's like one, two, three, four, short. Two, three, four. I have two things to say about the bridge, guys. So first, those are the chords for the bridge. However, when they play it live, they play it down a whole step and they don't strum bar chords. I don't, he doesn't want to do bar chords for the song. So what he strums is he strums an A minor chord and then a C chord and then an E minor chord. Um, I don't really know what you're supposed to do with that information because we're not learning it in the key that they do it live. I mean, I, I suppose you could put a capo on the second fret and then you could play those chords and it would be in the same key but then your main riff would be all screwed up. So basically I just put this in the video to confuse you. So you're welcome for that. But here's the other thing I wanna say. There's a whole other thing going on that you could do that doesn't involve any chords at all, you guys. You could do one of the guitars is going like this. So what's happening there is I'm playing on the second string from the top, two, 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 then I'm going four, five, five, five. So that was two, 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 four, five, five, five. Then I go up to seven, just one time, and then I play two on the top string eight times. So it's one, two, three, four, five, seven, two, I think what might actually be happening, but I can't quite tell, is they might be playing those notes, but with power chords. So it's like pointer finger, second fret, ring finger, fourth fret on the third string from the top. And it's going So I gave you like two complete, two and a half completely different ways to play the bridge. It just made everything a big mess. Everybody stopped watching and I'm just here all by my lonesome self. Here's what I like to do for this part. 
I like to do the power chord version. That's what I do. So I'm playing the, the chorus. I'm going. Then. That's what I like to do. Personally, if it's up to me, that's what I like to do. But you can, you can do whatever you want to do. That happens all the way through. The break. Oh, oh, oh. So when, if you're doing the power chord version, then you go through that three times. You start it a fourth time. You open. And then you go to the fourth fret on the second string from the top and then play the sixth fret on the third string from the top. And you play one, two, three, four, one, two. Oh, oh. I don't like this whole bridge section. You know what I'm going to do is I might put this at the very end because it's a mess. And so I might go back earlier in the video and say, hey, go to the end of the video for the bridge because I don't want to muck up the middle of muck up. I sound like I'm English. Are there Arctic monkeys in English? Not the animal. They're, Ar they're Arctic, obviously. But the band Arctic monkeys, where are they from? <sighs> yeah, this is a good end to the video right here. Mm -hmm. 